we can't leave you behind. So what I'm gonna... Yes! Woohoo! Yeah. Hey. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you. Yes. All right. It's uh, well. Let's let's uh, pray before we begin, dear Lord. We are gathered here by the smile of your approval, the lovely sunshine, the beautiful experience to uh, renew the vows of uh, Jack and Julie, whom you have brought together in love. Experience in Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. Well, uh, we 
get in a hot air balloon. But uh, certainly this marriage is not all hot air, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, your love banks are full today, Jack. Absolutely. You deposited enough in your love bank, eh? Definitely. Uh, this is an exquisite moment. Ex real exquisite. Marriage is an exquisite moment. <laughs> and uh, God has brought you together in love. Now, uh, you guys are not in training. You are not brand new in marriage. You all are experienced. As the saying goes, you can't teach old dogs new tricks. <laughs> but, there's, but there's a saying that marriage is one school that you will never graduate from. <laughs> We're learning every day. Every day there's new things to discover. And so, uh, Jack and Julie, this is a very special moment. And awesome. thank you for inviting us and for even choosing this uh, hot air balloon so that you can uh, once again uh, reaffirm uh, your vows of matrimony. Vows are so special. There's two words uh, in the vows. You're going to do something different there at the, uh, at the uh, venue. But there's two lovely words in the vows that uh, is a, a strong component of remembering your vows. And that is to love and to cherish. <laughs> to love and to cherish. Beautiful words. And that's the, that's the, the vow that you take. To love and to cherish. I'm going to ask you to repeat them just now. But let's just uh, go back to uh, God's provision for the happiness of the human family. And that was marriage. He bequeathed a wonderful treasure to the human family for our happiness, our well-being, and our belonging. Uh, marriage today is a rid ridicule, but it's proven itself to be uh, a divine, ordained uh, institution that has kept the, the human race together. And so uh, Jack and Julie, uh, especially Jack, the Bible says in God's pro providence and love for us, He said that when He created man, man should not be alone. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, yeah, it's terrible to be alone. Right? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> be alone. So what did the Lord do about that? <coughs> he said, I will make a partner and help me. And Julie, I see you as a wonderful partner, a wonderful help me uh, to make Jack happy. Man shall not be alone. And uh, the wise man Solomon says in scripture, uh, whosoever finds a wife finds a good thing. You found a wonderful Amen. pearl in Julie. Absolutely. Eh? Absolutely. I think you found a wonderful. She's an exquisite pearl. She's looking so beautiful today. Yes. Even you. more when we get to the menu. <laughs> yes, sir. What a high day to renew and reaffirm our love for each other. Absolutely. Julie, your love bank is full today. Love bank. <laughs> uh, there's nothing more satisfying than a happy marriage. Yes. Uh, I have four C's that I keep in mind that I share with folk to make a happy, strong, stable marriage. The first C is commitment. When you look at Hollywood marriages today, there's no commitment. Mm -hmm. uh, commitment is so important. Uh, commitment, uh, we take our vows. Uh, they, there's a saying that goes like this, that marriage is like a bird cage. We're like in a cage here too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> marriage is like a, a bird cage. Uh, those who are inside are waiting to get outside and those who are outside are waiting to get inside. <laughs> and so when we take our vows, we actually uh, take a vow to stay within the cage of marriage. So marriage is a commitment. It, there's a saying that goes like this too, that marriage is a heavy chain. It takes two to carry it. Mm -hmm. So that's commitment, eh? Yes. That's the first C. Without commitment, there is no happiness, there is no growth. A marriage is like a garden, uh, and uh, a garden that is well tended, flourishes. So, forth. so the second C of uh, happy, strong, stable marriages 
is communication. Communication. Very essential. Very communication essential. is the lifeblood Absolutely. of any relationship. Even if it's a child and parent, uh, yeah. home, uh, but especially with, uh, with couples. Yeah. Communicate. <laughs> I remember um, a couple uh, uh, in communication. In the first year, she speaks and he listens. The second year, he speaks and she listens. Mm -hmm. And the next year, they both speak and the neighbors listen. <laughs> oh. That's so <laughs> uh, I call that communication deterioration. <laughs> so uh, communication is here very important. Now, I've, uh, actually uh, witnessed uh, you and Jack and I love your communication. Keep it that way. Mm -hmm. It's so nice to hear the Filipino word for love, mahal, you know. Mm -hmm. Mahal, mahal. Yeah. Uh, Edna said to, uh, to George, you never tell me that you love me. Mm -hmm. And so George says, well, Edna, when I got married to you, I told you that I love you. And if I should ever change my mind, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> So the first C of a good, happy marriage is commitment. Communication. We take a, a, make a real commitment. And the second C is to have good communication, which is so vital. And the third C is cooperation. Mm -hmm. Cooperation is important. <laughs> we have to uh, work together to actually tend the marriage garden. So uh, each one has a role to play. It's not a one-sided affair. There's cooperation. It takes two to tango to make things happen. So one of it, we have to discover our roles and uh, how we can uh, make each other happy at home. Roles are very important. So cooperation and his operation is dependent on your cooperation and your operation is dependent on your cooperation. It's all about cooperating, cooperating. There's lots of frustration today, lots of annoyances, unhappiness. There's no cooperation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When we make suggestions, uh, we have both people involved. So that's a very important C. Uh, but the last C is uh, most important of all. So it's uh, uh, the first C is commitment. Commitment. The second C okay. communication. communication. Third C. The third cooperation. C cooperation. That's what, um, that's what I've been saying, how beautiful and serene it is up here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, uh, so as to not to have our marriage full of hot hair, we have to remember the four C's. You know? yes. And then the last C is very vital, very important, and that is Christ. Christ. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, without Christ, I tell you, our lives are empty, helpless mm -hmm. and hopeless. Yeah. With Christ, we are, we are uh, enabled, we are strengthened to uh, keep our marriage vows. And marriage vows is the most important issue. Uh, are you faithful to your marriage vows? And uh, so Christ is so important and vital. And vital you know. uh, without Christ, life can be helpless and hopeless like a ship without a sail. Or like an air balloon without, without air. air. <laughs> without air. <laughs> without air. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Keep your focus. May He be the center of your life. There's a lovely song that says, Jesus, you are the center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You are my heart's contentment and hope for all I do. Jesus, you are the center, center of my joy. Mm -hmm. And many folk are seeing that in the world today, that the missing link to life is leaving Christ out. You know, a marriage is also like a three-legged stool. 
three legs too. Mm -hmm. uh, three legs. That's one. Mm -hmm. That's Julie and Jack. And uh, no stool can uh, stand on two legs. Mm -hmm. You got to have that third leg. Mm -hmm. And so that third leg is Christ. We depend on him. Uh, even on a rope, when you see a rope, uh, <laughs> but uh, this is a different rope. But they say don't rope, pull it. They don't pull this one. <laughs> but they say a good rope is made of three strong strands. You know, that's how it's strong. And that those thick ropes actually can uh, attach, uh, hook a ship onto the onto the moorings or whatever. So it's it's uh, it's Christ that uh, uh, spends some time with him. And the closer we get to him, the closer we get to each other. And that is a proven fact. And the less we uh, we get closer to Christ, the more irritable we become, and the more impatient we become. So Christ is our, uh, our strength. He's our bridge over troubled waters. Isn't that true? He's our shelter in this time. Marriage is always not a not a life full of roses. Uh, every marriage too has its ups and downs. Isn't that true, Jack? Yeah, true. Is in marriage. Every man who is happily married is a, the love that you have for each other is one that you wish to to renew and seal with the marriage vows and share for eternity through thick and through thin. Isn't that true, eh? Uh, so uh, if you then, after careful uh, consideration and in the fear of God, have deliberately chosen each other as life partners in this holy estate. And know of no other just cause why you should not be united in marriage. And so I just want to invite you to uh, just please face each other and join your right hands as you uh, reaffirm your vows. So we can. That's so wonderful. So we can repeat it. Now. Yes, I'm going to uh, ask you to repeat. Uh, we, we, have, we have our own. Uh, uh, that's, you, you're going to do that there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this, one is different. this one's different. Uh, oh, okay. This this one is to solemnize. Uh, okay. But you do that one there. Okay. Okay, Jack, would you okay. repeat after me? Uh, I, Jack. I, Jack. Take this beautiful woman. Take this beautiful woman. Julie. Julie. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To live together. To live together. After God's ordinance. After God's ordinance. In the sacred estate. In the sacred estate. Of marriage. Of marriage. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. <laughs> In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Jack, do you solemnly promise before God and in the presence of this lovely company? Do you promise, Jack? I do. Hey, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> isn't that beautiful? Very Well, that's saying hurrah, hurrah, and hooray. Yeah, hooray. <laughs> uh, well, Julie, this is your turn. Uh, I, Julie. I, Julie. Take this wonderful, adorable husband. Take this wonderful, adorable husband. You said that? <laughs> uh -huh. Jack. Jack. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. A little boy went home and he said, Mom, those vows are something. I heard the pastor say to the uh, wife, Would you like to take this man to be your awful wedded husband? Awful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to live together. To live together. After God's ordinance. After God's ordinance. In the sacred estate of marriage. In the sacred estate of marriage. To heaven to hold. To heaven to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness poorer. and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. 
to love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Julie, do you solemnly promise before God and in the presence of this lovely company? Ah, oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Yeah, let's give them a nice hand. Those vows are so so important. Uh, I, uh, Jack, I'm going to instruct you to uh, give Julie a nice kiss now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he jumped again a bit. He jumped again. Sorry, Jack. Hold on. Uh, I know you're very enthusiastic and, <laughs> and you're very eager uh, to show your love. Um, I'll give you permission to do what you already be, have, have been doing. Uh, the, the wise man Solomon says, "Kiss me with the kisses of your lips, for your kisses are sweeter than mine." You may now kiss the bride. Yeah. Thirty seconds. Yeah, let's take another one. You are beautiful. Beautiful not just in face, but also in spirit. You are wondrous to behold. I'm, I'm grateful to the almighty God that has chosen you to give to me. So my beloved, place me like a seal on your heart in your arms and as King Solomon <coughs> has stated my love for you is greater than death my love for you is as strong as my faith in the almighty God that has mm -hmm. created us all mm -hmm. I promise you that the flames of my love will never waver as long as we both shall live. I love you. Oh, that's so mm. beautiful. Also. It's my turn. Yeah. yeah. Okay. To my dear love, Jack. I am thankful to count myself among the lucky ones, certainly, mm. because I found you and have you now. Uh. I know that you are the one really meant for me, my one true love. Mm. I am happy and grateful that you came to my life. I love you. I promise you that I shall hold you, cherish you, and give you my heart. That I shall support you and take care of you. Faithfully, I shall be always at your side with your hand in mine, regardless of what life would do. Uh, regardless of what life would make come to us. <coughs> yes, my dear, I'm yours for the rest of my life. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Oh, wonderful. Wow, beautiful. How many times did you rehearse that? But actually, you Some songs. Well, uh... So you can leave I think it was, yeah. it was Plato who, who also said yeah, yeah. that uh, men were born free, but they do get married. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in the Bible too, it's very uh, clear that God designed man to be accompanied by a woman. You know, He did not only create Adam, <coughs> so he created Eve, meaning they were meant, man and woman are meant to be companions, not that 
man should only be alone or the woman should only be alone. Mm -hmm. And uh, they say that uh, <coughs> they're saying that the woman was taken from okay. man mm -hmm. by his side under his arm. That means to say that he should be close to the heart, that he should be loved under the arm that he should be protected by his side that he should be that she should be <coughs> his companion mm -hmm. not in front or at the back but by by the side so it was the reed one of the reeds right mm -hmm. so <coughs> meaning to say the woman is meant to be really the companion of man mm. and in that sense Life. Life should be more interesting when you have. In my own experience as a as a married person, overall I would say that I am thankful that I get married because life was more or is more uh, interesting, more meaningful, meaningful <laughs> having Exciting. a companion, having a wife, and also. There are times, you know, I could compare myself when I was single. That there were times, there were really lonely moments that you needed someone to be with mm. you. Just to be by your side. But I'm so, hum so happy that I found my wife now. Yes, <laughs> but I like and your mathematics one too. of marriage. Yeah, the arithmetic of love. Yeah. One, one plus one, one equals plus one. everything. One <laughs> minus one equals nothing. Uh, no, two minus one equals nothing. Mm -hmm. So let's let's. Better, yeah, but better. Um, but as you uh, sort of stealing something that I mean, I think Kenneth would. Um, <coughs> it, it is um, the the question is why do in in, in some Middle Eastern countries. Um, um, the woman always walks in in, in front of, of the man. <laughs> in front or behind? In front of the man. European countries? Um, um, some um, Middle Eastern countries. Not in oh, I front, thought, I thought behind. Thought it behind. No, 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 no. Um, in in, in some that? Middle Eastern oh. countries, um, and the lady walks in front simply because if there are any landmines. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> 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 like a bait, huh? Mm -hmm. You make the woman as a bait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so continue. Well, it is my prayer that you and Julie will uh, really be successful in your marriage. The real test is not now, but as the years go by, you know, the, uh, there will always be rough times. Pastor Ken would always say, we are always on a ship when we are married, a relationship. But if God is the captain of the ship, Absolutely. there's nothing to worry. Amen. All the time. Good, good uh, But many um, of my uh, friends, uh, um, Simon, um, they're all sort of, uh, you know, Sort of saying, well, they are now find themselves doing very, very many things for the last time. But I, I, I think that in my case, I've got to boost the um, 
the very reverse. I'm doing very, very many things for the first time. Oh, yeah. wow. wow. Beautiful. Amen. Well, if you probably notice we've got a little bit closer to the ground. <laughs> So where we where land going to land now? Well, in a little while. Okay. Mm -hmm. good. <laughs> now I, uh, Two and a half thousand feet. Oh, He's like a miniature, right? Where are we now? We are in London. No, uh, Joe. When you when you're pumping uh, some uh, the type of is it to go further up or down? Or Just distance? to maintain heat energy and work too much for it. It requires heat energy to keep the air at less dense than the air around it. So we're actually going up there and through the water. But as we're close to the surface, I've got to... Is that the very young one? Yeah. The scale. Yep. Down, is that your variometer? Yes. Oh. Well, that's very variometer's stuff. How sensitive is it? Uh, if I take it near for dinner, it'll, it'll measure it. Up. The fault lines. Joe's in there. Away from you're always sweet, you know. Well, the guy said, well, you know what? Um, I've, lost it. I've lost my grip and she... <laughs> <laughs> Deeply appreciate it. Thank you for everything. You people. Bye. And keep you whether near or far away. May you find the long awaited golden days today. May your trouble all be small ones and your fortunes ten times ten. The shadow of the balloon. The shadow of the balloon. The shadow of the balloon. The shadow of the Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Bravo! Yeah. Bravo! Bravo. Yeah. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Amen. Okay. So it's not uh, pulling us up now. No. No. Yes. No. Good. No. But we're stuck here because the dog will. Oh, it's really good. Oh, probably Well, at least we're safe. It's a good thing. Yes, thank you. Cheers. Thank you.